Hello everyone, I'm Santi Darkshed from SDJ Records and today I would like to give a small sneak peek at the future of the main projects and with their respective uh, previews that I have for each one of those and the concepts behind their next albums. So I'm talking about Chaosetania, Power Dream, Dystopian Vision and Outworld. Let's begin with Chaosetania. The next album for Chaosetania is going to be called Icon of Galactic Madness. It's going to be more of the same, like it's pretty much was what you can expect from Chaosetania. I changed the sound. This is important to mention because um, Chaosetania Evergel shared the same production and mixing than the previous album Anika Laga. So um, this time around it's going to have a slightly different sound. It's kind of similar than their previous ones but it has some minor changes, it has some differences and you can, you can spot those uh, if you really hear uh, carefully on detail. Uh, like for example the bass is a different one um, and I produced the bass in a different way. Um, the guitars are almost the same and the drums are almost the same but I changed the snare drum so yeah it, it's some some differences that are going to give um, enough different feeling to the album to make it interesting and to make it stand out from the previous ones in terms of sound so yeah I'm pretty excited about that um, I have a small preview of how the mixing and production sounds currently. This may change in the future, but as is right now, I'm pretty happy with this result and I would like to show it to you. It sounds like this. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it for Chaosetania. That's going to be the next album called Icon of Galactic Madness. Next up we have Power Dream and the next album is going to be called City of Sin. Um, for Power Dream I wanted to go back to um, more cyberpunk style stuff like To the Future with you and this time around the main character for the album is going to be a girl um, the one I'm going to show in the cover art here um, all the cover arts of the albums that I'm going to mention are subject to changes so um, this may or may not be the final cover art for the album so take that in count and yeah Power Dream City of Sin is going to be more cyberpunk inspired, more um, science fiction and less fantasy y. And yeah, it's going back to the roots of the of the main ideas for the project. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't have much more to talk about. Oh, of course I have a preview to show um, for one of the songs. This one is actually almost finished in terms of instrumentation. I need to come up with the lyrics and the vocals, but the instrumentation is almost finished from start to fin from start to end. But I'm going to show you just the, f the first part, uh, like the first riff. Here it is. Alright, next up we have Dystopian Vision Helix. Um, for Dystopian Vision I don't have much to show. 
Um, I have a small preview, but I'm still not sure if this is going to be the production and mixing that I'm going for for the next album. Um, but what I can tell you is that it's going to be more elaborate in the electronic elements department. Um, I want to uh, bring a little bit more the complexity of the electronic music elements added to it and I want to make this album to feel more 90s um, trans electronic um, than the previous one. So I'm going to be focusing a lot on the synths and the um, like the keyboards and the electronic drums and stuff and yeah that's pretty much all I have about the, the project. Here's the preview. And last but not least, Outworld, Way of the Samurai. Now, I made a poll on YouTube for you guys to vote on which topic will you guys like to hear the most in the uh, next Outworld album, and most of you guys voted Way of the Samurai. Uh, the reality of the situation is that when I started the poll, I was already working on the first song for this album. <laughs> So I already was uh, thinking about uh, making this album first. So yeah, uh, I have a very strong beginning for the first song of this album and I would like to show it to you guys right now. Here's the preview. Alright, I hope you guys liked it and I would like to talk about something else related to Outworld because I have a small experiment that I wanted to try. Um, so I don't know if I mentioned this before but the only time I played live, like in real life live, uh, it was on my brother's band uh, called Danny Dark and the Voices from Hell. That's the only time I played live. Um, so I don't really know how it, how it will be like to play in one of my own projects live in, in a real concert with a lot of people and I wanted to like experiment and make that happen digitally with the digital tools that I have at my disposal, right? <laughs> Probably because in real life I can play shit like <laughs> uh, my skills as a guitarist are pretty basic and I can only play like power chords and very basic stuff so if I try to play um, guitar and sing at the same time on Outworld that has pretty complex riffs it I will be pretty bad <laughs> so but I wanted to make the, the audio experiment and hear how that will be like. So I, I came up with a result. 
I have a full video, a full concert that I made. Um, this is a simu simulation, live simulation stream. That's what I called it. And yeah, I have it ready and I would like to upload it here. And I also have a trailer for it. And I'm going to be uploading those pretty soon. Right now, at the time I'm recording this video, my album Ascendi Natura is going to be launched in a few hours. So um, I'm not going to be uploading the trailer and the premiere for the live simulation stream of Outworld today because I don't want to upload too many things in too much short time that happened with the Dead Spell album and it didn't went well <laughs> uh, but yeah I'm going to wait at least a little bit and then I'm going to upload first the trailer and then maybe two days after um, the live simulation stream so yeah uh, that's everything for now guys thank you very much for watching thank you very much to all those who have been buying my stuff on Bandcamp I really appreciate it and thank you to everyone who has been sharing all my music on um, whatever social media do you use that helps me a lot so thank you very much um, yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video bye <laughs>